This week, I am facing my fear of heights by learning how to rock climb. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of this video because with only one week of training, I am going to attempt to scale an 85 foot cliff face. And thank you so much to Genesis for sponsoring today's episode, hooking us up with the brand new GV80 and making this episode possible. Challenge accepted. My name is Oswaldo from Rock Entry, and today I'm gonna to teach Michelle how to climb. I've climbed in Bishop, Red Rock, Joshua Tree, Yosemite. Let me just say, it took me a year before I went outdoors. So for Michelle, once again, for her to do this indoors and then outdoors within a week, it's like really facing her fear for sure. <laughs> I'm nervous too. <laughs> yeah, why are you nervous? Oh, wait, no. uh, I'm not nervous. <laughs> you are. Why are you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm okay, good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm okay. good. First, we're going to start off bouldering this climb behind you. <laughs> we, we're doing this without a rope? Yes, without a rope. We're just launching. We're just like, we're going right in. Bouldering is when you're climbing ropeless. The highest that you can go could go up to 40 feet. It's typically a lot more difficult movement, but less holds. What so, happens if you let go when you're up there? You fall. But, you know, it's padded, so you're good. And also, I'm spotting you too, so I'm looking after you as well. One of my scariest fall, and this was bouldering, it was like 24 feet or so, yeah. It goes by slow. <laughs> like, you can feel yourself being in the air, falling. Yeah. So the grading system starts from B scale. It gets harder as the number gets higher. We're gonna start off with the beginner system, which is the V0. So all these orange yes, pieces. Yes, all these orange pieces. My feet are going on this? Yeah. <laughs> what? A, I don't even think a mouse could fit on that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you start like this. Uh-huh. Oh my God, oh my God. Wait, come on, I got you. I'm fighting. so high. Literally, how do I get back down from me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, ah. good job! Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got this. Nice. Yeah, you can just drop. Nice! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great! <laughs> How tall is the final challenge climb compared to this? Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> How much taller is it? More than 10 times taller than this. 10? Are you scared of heights? <laughs> Obviously you're not. To be honest, I used to be scared of heights, but because of climbing, I enjoy it now. It's like a puzzle, right? Like you're trying to figure it out, how to get to the top. The focus that I have for the climb, I have no time for fear of heights. <laughs> And that's okay. gonna be you. <laughs> Let's go over some of the things that we can improve on. What we wanna avoid doing is pulling ourselves up too much. You wanna do more using your legs. You wanna oh. press down and then reach. Because your legs are a lot stronger. If my hips are out, it's harder for your upper body. If your hips are in, now you're putting weight. Oh, okay. So now I can rest here. When you're placing your foot too, you wanna use this portion of the shoe. You wanna avoid using this side and this side. If I use the tip of my toe, I'm actually able to go oh, from like pivot more. See that? Let's try this yellow one. It's a V1, so it's a higher grade. Where am I trying to go? All the way up there? Yep, to the top. <gasps> so for this one, you want to press your toe here. Whoa! I'm yeah. Like, that's... So stay low. Yeah. All right. There you go. There you go. Nice. Toe. Yes. Press down with your left foot, and then reach out. Press down. Nice. Ooh. There you go. You got it. Oh my God! I'm going got backwards. It. Oh, oh, you got it, you good, you good. There you go. Bring your hips in, bring your hips in. Nice, reach out, reach out, reach out. <laughs> to where? Here. There you go. One more, there you go. Now you gotta bring your left foot up. Here? Nice, bring your hips in, there you go. You're almost there, you're almost there. There, two hands, two hands on. There you go, you're good. Most people, when they think about rock climbing, they think of it as an extreme sport. It just looks like you need a lot of strength for it, but it really challenges you, not only physically, but mentally. Left foot, <laughs> nice, you did it, woo! That's exactly what I was talking about. When you're on the wall, you figure out what works for you. Oh. Woo, yeah! <laughs> Oh my God, I did not think I could do that. Yeah. Sometimes you get in an awkward position and you're like, this doesn't seem right. 
But then once you commit, which you did, you get yourself in a really good position, which you did when you did the match. Now we're gonna go on to ropes, which is higher. Maybe I will feel a little more comfortable with a rope. Yeah, so. rope, you'll feel safer. Will you be able to hear me when I'm the height of the uh, Empire Yeah, if you scream. <laughs> Now the grading system in top rope, which you're gonna be doing at Red Rock, is the Yosemite decimal system, which it starts from 5.0, and then it goes up to 5.10, and then it goes on. You did so good on the other climb, we're gonna bump up a couple of grades. This one is a 5.10 plus. The rocks look a bit smaller <laughs> and more spread out. Yeah, smaller holds, taller climb. I trust you, I'm sure you can do this. For this specifically, there's gotta be a lot of communication. When you're about to climb, just say climbing. When you need tension, so you can rest, say tension. To lower you, you're gonna use your legs to press against the rock, right? And then when you say ready to lower, and then I'll lower you. If you need rope, say slack. But for top rope, it's mostly you'll need tension, yeah. You can all just right? pull me all the way up. <laughs> so I start here? Yep. Both hands? Yep. Oh my remember God. The, like... Remember the call? On belay. Belay on. Climbing. Climb on. <sighs> Come on, girl. Come on, Michelle. Remember to use your toes, okay? Yes, nice. Nice, good breathing. Where do I go you have now? A right, you have a right hold. Remember, shift your weight to the right. Yes, and reach out with your right hand. You got this. There you go, Michelle, come on. Your breathing's really good, by the way. You're doing a really good job, because it's keeping you calm. Is it breathing or hyperventilating? <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm shaking. <laughs> I love climbing with new climbers, man. It's so great. <laughs> come on, yes. There you go. Come on, Michelle. You got this. There you go. Come on. Throw for it. You got it. You've like, done this. Like, literally leap? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Press down with your feet. I'm not sure I can reach up there. If you want to match, you can match too. Remember that. Okay. I can do this. Okay. I'm going to attempt. You ready? Ready when you are. Come on. <gasps> nice, come on, Michelle. Step up with your right foot. Step up with your right foot and reach out right. There oh. you go, you got it. Tension, please. Yeah, you got tension. <sighs> oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> come on. I, I got both. You did it. Okay. Oh my god. I literally haven't looked down this entire time. I can't. Should I look down? Look down. You're ready. <laughs> okay. All right. You want me to lower, lower you? Me. Let me down. Yeah. How many beginners have I seen do a 5.10? Not many. Not many. Actually, this okay. is the first one I've seen 5.10 for a beginner. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. When you're working so much on a climb and putting so much focus on the minor details just to accomplish this, and then you're able to do it from the start to finish, that excitement at the end is like huge. For Michelle's outdoor climbing, we're gonna be taking her to one of the most popular areas in the rock climbing community, which is Red Rock. We found a really good climb for her, beautiful scenery. The height of it is really good for her to face her fear. For most people, the reason why they limit themselves in climbing is because of fear and not because of their technique or strength. I feel like every time I'm met with a huge fear or obstacle or big decision, I spend so much time worrying and overthinking rather than just doing. And I want to conquer this challenge to prove to myself that I don't need to worry, that I don't need to panic, and I can do the things I set my mind to. Welcome to Red Rocks. Thank you, it's so pretty here, oh my God. Yeah, today we're gonna be doing bouldering. This climb right here is called Six Pack. Oh! So, yeah. <laughs> Do you get a six pack? 
Uh, maybe, it... maybe. I don't know. You, you'll find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, before we get on the climb, you want to try to read the climb. Where am I going to put my feet? Where am I going to put my hand? You don't want to get on the climb and then think about it. You're spending energy trying to like figure yeah. it out. It's just so strange because you can't see any of the holds. Like, it yeah. just looks like... Like, where do I put my... Hand? Yeah. One good tip is see if you can follow the chalk marks. Typically, that's a good indicator that it's a hold. Nice. Come on. Bring your left now, where leg. should I bring my left leg? Left foot up. You see it by your knee? Up higher on your knee? Yes! Nice! There you go. That's good. Nice. Where do you go now? You gonna step up. There you go. Come on. Yeah, step on it. There you go. Okay. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Oh my god. You got it. Like halfway up, I was like, oh my god, there's no rope attached to me. I can't mess this up. <laughs> there's no rope. Oh. Yeah. That's considered a flash, by the way. What does that mean? That means that you sent a climb on your first attempt. Cool. Yeah. Like the superhero. Now you got a six pack and you're a superhero. <laughs> now I have a six pack, yay. <laughs> so when he said that we were gonna be climbing without a rope today, mm -hmm. it kind of freaked me out when I saw how big this boulder <laughs> is. And what it brought up for me is before I did my YouTube channel, I was a professional cyclist. And one of the reasons that I stopped was because everyone I knew was getting injured. I myself had a really high speed crash and I lost like, all this skin on my arm. Once I stopped, I haven't ridden since. Oh, wow. When was the last time you've ridden? Um. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it would. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like it's just made me so overcautious. Anytime I do something that's like a little bit scary, it's, it's just a really loud, block oh yeah oh, oh my god that's so much harder yeah it's so much harder let's say you press against the rock and then bring your nice there you go there you go nice do the same thing and then bring it nice oh you got this you got this yeah come on michelle i think this is it's good keep going don't stop you got this I... <laughs> oh don't stop don't stop you got it left, left foot there you go remember hips in you got it come on michelle nice Come on, trust those feet. See if you can find a left foot somewhere. Nice. Oh my God. Come on. I got you, okay? I got you. Right hand out. There you go. Come on. Nice. That's mantle. Come on. I know this is like really ugly. You still got it. Oh my God. Nice. Oh God. <sighs> you almost stopped once I told you to keep going because I knew you had it in you. That really helps you mentally. Yeah. It's not always going to be perfect. So you want to learn to push yourself, which you did. When I started YouTube and all that stuff, I was caregiver for my mom. She had cancer and I did that for so many years. My mom is the one that suggested YouTube and then I would make videos for my mom because she was in the <laughs> hospital. But it was me just learning how to climb. And then next thing you know, people ask me if I can teach them how to climb and then the channel grew from there. And now when I meet people like you and you share your stories like that, I, I feel it, you know, because my mom passed away. So everything that I do now, she's part of it. It means a lot to me, the fact that you reached out and had me be part of something so important to you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, now it's time for the final challenge. That's like the final next Final challenge, thing. yeah. Are you ready for the final challenge? I just keep thinking about when I'm at the top and I'm gonna look down and I'll probably scream still when I see you at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not gonna look yeah. at you no, until I get gonna, to the top. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna love it. And then you're gonna conquer that fear again. Okay, cool. All right, let's I'm do ready. it. Let's do it. I'm ready? <laughs> It's the night before the final challenge and I just know I'm gonna have a mental block tomorrow. Hey, Ozzy, what's up? Hi, Michelle. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I really want to do the climb. I wanna get through it. I just might need your help getting over that mental block. I just need you to push me a little bit. <laughs> Michelle, I'm there with you, okay? I'm gonna do my best to help you through this. I'll push you as much as I can, but safety is our priority here. If you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel safe at all, we'll shut the whole thing down, okay? 
So don't feel pressure that you have to do it. Okay. We're packing, getting ready, and this is gonna be exciting. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's your wall. Where? <laughs> that one right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Cool. You ready? Just to keep in perspective, the top rope that we did indoors is about 40 to 45 feet. This, is this one's 85. Twice. This is literally like twice as high. Oh my god. Because <laughs> when we were down there, I only saw the top half. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay. I just want to fast forward to the part where I'm back in the car. You know what? And I feel accomplished. It's just so tall. I just wonder if I took on something that's too much for me. Oh, no, 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 no. I know your ability, okay? You can do this, okay? You've done harder climbs than this way harder climbs than this, okay? I've just never been so scared before a challenge. It just feels, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, you okay. got this. You're only conquering the height right now, Michelle. You have the strength and ability, okay? okay. Yes. You're doing something incredible. Like this is very inspiring, okay? And all you gotta do, Michelle, remember you've, you've done this before. Focus on the wall, you see the hold? Look at me, you see the hold? Grab onto it. You see the foothold? Place your foot, press down with your feet, and look for the next hold, okay? Michelle, it's up to you. I have to do this. And you will. I believe in you, okay? On belay. Lay on? Climbing. Climb on. Can I Come have more on, tension? Michelle. Yes, come on, Michelle. Come on, girl, you got this. You have a right hold, you see it? Press down with your feet, remember? Press down with your feet. There you go. Nice, you have right hand, yes. Find the right foot, can you find the right foot, Michelle? No. Okay, do you see any chalk marks near you? Yeah, go for that one. There you go, start looking for your left foot too, okay? Nice. Reach tension, up left please. hand. Reach up left hand. I got you. I'm gonna keep tension this whole time, okay? Come on. There you go. Yes! I got you, I got you. You good, you good? Nice, Michelle. Find that foothold. There you go, you found it. Nice. I got you, I got you. Lean back, you're good, girl. Rest up. More tension, more tension, please. I, I got you, okay, I'm gonna give you more tension, like, okay? Like just an uncomfortable amount. Working on it. There you go. Thank you. I got you, Michelle. I'm so proud of you, girl, <laughs> seriously. It's amazing what you're doing, so amazing. It took me a year to be able to do a climb like Auntie, this. don't talk to them, talk to me. I got you, I got you. <laughs> You're doing great, Michelle. You're doing great. This is not easy. This is not easy. Talk about facing your fear, man. She's literally facing her fear and conquering it. Michelle, whenever you're ready, girl. Nice, come on. 
It gets better, Michelle. Yes, come on. You got it, you got it, it gets better. Tension, please, please, for the love of God. I got you, I got you. Come on, Michelle. Nice! You're not that far, Michelle. She feels so much comfortable now. She's like climbing, climbing. Look at that. She's doing great. She's looking for footwork and she uses them and presses on and reaches over to her hold. She's doing amazing. You're doing amazing, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, girl. Woo! Ozzy, tell me you have me. I got you. I got you. <sighs> Yeah, climb on. I got you. You're almost there. She's almost there. She's almost there. Oh my goodness. Two clips away, Michelle. Tension. Got you, I got you. You're good. Oh my God, oh my God. You're good, you're almost there. You got this, Michelle. She's almost there. Almost. I did it! Woo! Yeah! Oh, I just looked. I just looked for the first f***ing time. Oh my f***ing God! I did it. 85 feet. She started at 10 feet when we were at the gym bouldering. She was scared at 10 feet. <laughs> and now she's at 85 feet within one week. One week. Yes! Okay, can I come down now? All right, lowering! <sighs> Michelle, I'm so proud of you, girl. You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? Good? Oh my god! I did it. Off the leg. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> You're officially a rock climber. You are exactly right. It was just my mind, my fear, not yeah. my strength. I'm just so ready to like apply all of what I've learned in this week to my life on the ground. You're gonna notice a difference in you, for sure. That's why people get so hooked into climbing, because of it. I'm like lightheaded. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below with what challenge you think I should take on next, and if you're new here, please subscribe. Also, be sure to go check out Oswaldo's channel, Rock Entry, and let's show him some love from our family to his. Thank you so much to Genesis for sponsoring this episode of Challenge Accepted. This week, we were lucky enough to drive around in the new GV80, which is the first ever SUV from Genesis. And I have to tell you guys, this is one of the nicest SUVs I've ever driven. The GV80 is incredibly comfortable, spacious, highly capable, and beautiful. After driving the GV80 through rugged terrain all week, I can say with certainty that they really thought about everything when designing this SUV. It comes with these really sharp quad headlights, which were a huge help when driving through the desert at night. The large yet sleek infotainment screen that comes equipped with Apple CarPlay never gave us problems with glare and was bright enough to see even during the sunniest of our shoot days. The GV80's large cabin, second row, and trunk space were perfect for all the camera and climbing gear that we needed to haul around all week. The suspension can be adjusted with the twist of a knob and the cabin is ultra quiet, which provided us with such a relaxing luxury ride through the desert. The GV80 also has some really neat design features, one of which is instead of using a shifter to change gears, you turn a knob and it's ugh, incredibly satisfying. The GV80 brings the experience beyond the vehicle itself and even comes with the convenience of complimentary Genesis service valet, so you don't even have to leave your house to get the car serviced, as well as the Genesis concierge. If you want to learn more about the GV80, be sure to click the link in my description and thank you again so much to Genesis for making this episode possible. 